hi everyone today i am going to be showing you guys how i did these quick curls these are so cute it literally took me less than 10 minutes to do i have a lot of hair so if you guys have less hair then it will be even faster for you guys and the results are still amazing with this little shortcut that i use so if you guys want to see how i got this look keep watching i've seen this surfing around the web so i wanted to give it a try pretty much i'm just going to be putting my hair in a high pony and curling it and it's going to save so much time and give us the same effect as if we did go and spend that time curling our whole hair usually what i see is people putting up all their hair in a ponytail but I realized that the most important pieces are the front pieces so I'm gonna take those part out and curl those separately just because you want to know exactly how they're getting curled if you put it up you might not know what's gonna happen so I part in the middle so I'm just gonna part it how I usually part it and then leave these face framing pieces out if you guys side part then just take out the bangs from the side part like this or if you guys don't really have a part and just kind of throw it everywhere, then you can just put it all up in a ponytail. So I'm going to put my hair up and try to get no bumps so it's as sleek as possible. I'm just going to brush. So I have it pretty high. I'm going to tie a scrunchie because a scrunchie does not leave any dents. Um, if you guys have those hard elastics, they, they do sometimes leave dents. You guys can use whatever you need. I'm just going to use a scrunchie. I am going to be using Kaposi 1.2 inch iron. Since I want it to go away from my face, I'm going to split it in half. This side I'm going to curl away from my face, this side I'm going to curl away from my face. You want to make sure to start at the very top because the lower you start, the lower your curl is going to start. I want us to try to make it start as high as I can so I can have the curl going throughout my hair. So try to start the curl all the way at the top take sections depending on the type of look you want if you want big bouncy curls take bigger sections if you want piecier waves take smaller sections i think i'm gonna take um kind of bigger sections i want bigger curls today so i'm gonna take a section about this big and i'm gonna start the curl from the top if you guys can use a wand you guys can use whatever you guys need to use just curl away from the face Okay, I am going to switch to voiceover. I did a curl. You guys can pin it up if you want more of a bouncier curl or wanted to hold better, pin up your curls, but I'm just going to leave it. So now I am curling again, curling away from my face. I like to hold it horizontal because vertical is more of a wave. Horizontal gives more bigger, bouncier curls. And again, curling away from my face. And make sure to get those ends. I like those ends to be curled so it looks more of a curl and not a beach wave. Now I am switching over to the other side. Going to curl this whole side away from my face. And hold it horizontal. Again, you guys can use whatever you guys feel most comfortable with. Whether that's a wand, flat iron. Just make sure you're curling away from your face for all the strands. And last strand, I... I'm just doing the same thing, curling away from my face. This is honestly so easy, so quick, and the results are beautiful. So I am letting go of that curl and then going to curl my front pieces. And I like curling these separate just so I know exactly how it's going to fall on my face because these are the most important pieces. This is the part that you see and everyone sees. So I like curling these separate. And now I'm going to spray some hairspray for hold. I let it sit for a few minutes, which I didn't show on here, so I let it cool for five minutes. And now I am taking off the scrunchie and going to put everything together. So I'm going to put my bangs back and just shake it, shake it, shake it to get that volume and root on my roots. And I am going to just spray hairspray. And as you can see, look how pretty these curls are. You can touch up any curls that you need to touch up. So one was kind of falling, so I just touched that up really quick. But the rest looked really good. And it looked nice, curly, and bouncy. And now I'm going to add some texture spray to just add more movement and volume to the hair. And this is the final look. And look how pretty these curls are. Literally, it took me less than 10 minutes and I have a lot of hair. If you guys have less hair, then it would be even faster than that. These kind of look better than my regular curls. I'm not even going to lie. I need to start doing this more often. But yeah, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If there's anything else that you guys want to see, comment below. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Please support by liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.